I had a cracked out barrel of wheels, so I used the world's strongest two-part epoxy, but unfortunately, just like your parents, I only felt disappointment. A rotten log split my crack in two and the epoxy peeled. The crack was widening and I don't give up that easy, so I rolled up my sleeves, busted out the June Jip, which is a plastic welder that gets scorchingly hot. I'm tucking 300 degree Fahrenheit or one Hemsworth from my non-Americans. After cleaning it off and using a drill to make a relief hole, I sanded that sucker down and pressed a scaldingly hot tip into the metal mesh deep into the plastic. Kind of like ironing, except way more toxic fumes and opportunities to start forest fires. Now after pressing the metal mesh on the bottom, I filled the tops out with more plastic and added some more metal mesh on top, and you can barely tell there was even a repair on there. Yep, looks like the day I bought it. So I did the most robust test I could think of and tossed a leaf, and it looked really good, and that was the end. Alright, fine, I'll use a boulder. So I grabbed a boulder, and I held my breath and tightened my sphincter, but to my surprise, there was no damage. I then added a bunch more rocks, since, you know, it's a wheelbarrow, it's designed to do that, and there were no cracks on first glance. But on second glance, there was a crack. So I rolled up my sleeves, and with my newly found skills, I went and bought a new wheelbarrow, because I'm not doing that again.